this morning is Lois Ackman Lawson. She has written the book Growing Up in Santa Cruz. Good morning to you, Lois. Good morning, Rosie. Why did you feel the need to write the book? And it's re- it's a, by the way, it's surprisingly laugh out loud stuff here. It's a very fun book. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, it's it's really one of four books that I wrote of my memoirs, and I just wrote what. Uh, inspired me at the moment, nothing in any order, chronological order or anything. And then when I was done, uh, I realized I really had four separate books. So I'd like to concentrate on growing up in Santa Cruz this morning, but just mention the other ones just uh, to tell you how it came about. I saw a flyer about 10 years ago uh, uh, in a local senior center, and it uh, was quoting George Bernard Shaw, if you can't get rid of the family skeleton, you might as well make it dance. There you go. Yes. Isn't that the truth? So I thought, ah, oh, that's intriguing. And I, I had a lot of things going, mulling around in my mind that I really wanted to straighten out. And I thought if I wrote about them, it would help. And really what got me started was I have a son doing 30 years in prison. And I wanted to write about that, see if I could understand what happened, and uh, explain to my my children what I thought had happened. And so that's how it got started. So there's a book called Life Sentence about my son. There's one about my husband our life together and going through leukemia together what it's like for the family and then after i did growing up in santa cruz i took everything that was left over and put it in a book called uh husbands lovers etc well i have to say the pictures in this are just darling from the 20s and moving upwards the 30s and world war ii and there's pictures of your mom in san francisco with her matching red gloves yes. and her matching red shoes you grew up in that may i do you mind if i ask you how you can say you don't want to tell me how old are oh, you no, i'm to the point now where i say i'm 81 and a half <laughs> <laughs> you had you were part of that time life that was idyllic when you were growing up when you were a little girl yes it was a a, a simple beautiful time where did you grow up i i grew up on brown Safordi avenue until i was 10 and then uh in paso tiempo when it was all still very woodsy and didn't have all the homes that it has now. So it was. It was a, a beautiful time. Uh, we'd walk into into town for Brands of 40, go to the movies. Uh, my siblings and me, we'd go uh, to the beach, never worrying about anything, and walk home in the dark. It was uh, the neighbors all watched out for uh, for you. They spent their evenings sitting out on their porches. And if you uh, did anything you shouldn't, it, the news would get home to your parents before you got there. It's funny how that happens, isn't it? I In Scotland, I spend time up in a very small, uh, very, very small town. And the next day, people would tell you what you did the night before, before you even had time yeah. to, to put yeah. it through your own mind. Yeah. And it's always so interesting how local jungle drums beat. Yes. I never, never quite understood that. What would you say that you miss most about Santa Cruz to this day that you miss from that from from your childhood? Uh, like I said, the freedom to just do anything and go anywhere and everyone knew everyone else. Uh, you didn't go out of town to buy anything. You bought everything in town because you were all helping each other uh, with your businesses and so, so think forth. Local First was alive think and local, well. Yes. From the very get-go, we just forgot about it. Yeah, so I miss that, that closeness of everyone knowing everyone else and helping each other out. Yeah, and, your, and when your son was put in jail, how did that affect you with, in your town? You were in your town. How did it affect me? Uh, everyone was very understanding. I was very out in the open with it. I s- spoke about it. Uh, uh, I, 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 in my church, I went to, uh, the, I joined the jail ministry and went and talked to the women 
at the jails. I took it and turned it into something positive and everyone was fine about it. And it's surprising when you mention about, oh, I have a son in prison. It's amazing how many people will say they have a loved one or friend also that has been in jail. But it's only when you mention it that they talk about it. Yes. That's right. I had a brother who went to jail. See? Sadly to yeah. say he, they released uh -huh. him. I wish he'd been locked up forever, but <laughs> they did release him. But uh -huh. yeah, it is, it's very right. common. It's more common than people right. think. Just bring it out, yes, and don't hide it. Because it's not your, on the one hand, Lois, it's not your cross to bear. On right. the other hand, it is. And the writing class was therapy because you would write a story and you would take it in and we all would read our stories out loud to mm -hmm. each other and they'd say well what do you mean by that Lois or you're leaving something out here please explain this better so I would go home sit at my computer and have to think have to really think about yeah what did really happen here and uh, it, so it was cathartic for you it very much so yes and in, when your family read the books, what what was the input from them? Well, uh, some of them uh, said, hey, well, I have a, a girlfriend, Alice, who I've known forever. And she said, right on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh -huh. so that was good. They're, uh -huh. they're really, even the cover story, the cover picture, which is, Courtesy of Bruce Bratton via Covello and Covello, which is, and that is you on the cover? No, no, it isn't. It's just People a have asked that. It is a newspaper clipping that I had cut out of the paper and kept because it was how I felt about my Santa Cruz. Because when I was young, Pacific Avenue was the center. You didn't have all these shopping centers. Mm -hmm. That was it. That's where you went to did all, do all your shopping. And, uh, my dad, we had one car because my dad didn't want, he was an accountant, he didn't want people to think that he was spending too much of their, their, you know, money. Mm -hmm. So we had one, you know, spending it frivolously. So we had one car. So I would have to wait after school to get a ride home with him. And I would spend it on Pacific Avenue. And I had a fir girlfriend that was, uh, lived at the Antonelli Hotel. It was next door to the post office and the, the vet's building, and I'd spend time with her. Spend time in the back. Uh, the river was just free and beautiful and woodsy back there, the uh, on front clean. street and clean. Yes, and uh, we would play back there on the, in the trees. It was, uh, it was marvelous. Well, that, the picture on the cover really sums up 1954 Santa Cruz, absolutely. Yes. The signs of Western Union and Modell drugs, prescriptions, fountain and lunch. Yes. So you, you, you've done four. Are you done or are you going to do more? Oh, I'm done. I'm I done. I'm having fun now uh, just telling people about it. Uh, you can get the book at Bookshop Santa Cruz. Well, excuse me. How my That's great. <laughs> and, uh -huh. and if you go to my website, growingupinsantacruz.com, it tells all about me and uh, all about the, the, the books and, and where you can get them. And you so self-published? Self yes. You yes. Did. I know that it's hard. Well, in these days, in a, this day and age, is actually, unless you're a name, it's almost impossible to get published. But I think self-publishing is absolutely fabulous. And I had help. Can I say who Please helped? Please do. As Cruise Brand, they're in Aptos. They did the layout, put the book together. Uh, the photos are from my albums. Uh, they scanned some, and I scanned others. Uh, we worked together. And uh, all four books are just full of photos. Can I, do I have time to just read one little Please sentence? Do, yeah. Okay. This is from uh, World War II. Uh, it was considered patriotic to bring a serviceman home for dinner. My sister Shirley and my aunts, who ranged in age from 17 to their early 20s, did their best to perform their patriotic duty. Do I have time to read it anymore? Or should no, I read a little bit more, yes. Uh, Mom and Dad were continually adding bread to the meatloaf to stretch a meal for unexpected guests. Dad liked to ask the servicemen at the table about their families and what their plans were after the war. They were anxious to go home and continue where their lives had been interrupted. After dinner, everyone would literally roll up the rug, 
put records on the phonograph player and dance to the big bands of Benny Goodman, Harry James, and Glenn Miller. Miller. I learned to jitterbug, waltz, and rumba before I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting the rug, you see? Yes. yes. Lois Ackerman Lawson, growing up in SantaCruz.com. Thank you so much. This is completely delightful. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you, Rosie, for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. 58 past 8. Here's Rick with your King of the Hill traffic update. Crews are working on.